Okay, guys, if this is your first time in the returning booze, y'all, let me tell you, this advent calendar is, it is given, but it's not given, okay? It is given because it's, it's luxury, okay? It is given because the packaging is absolutely amazing. It is given because it is all fragrance related, but for whatever reason, your girl knows it's just not feeling it. And I am getting worried, okay? Like I said, I have found myself in this entanglement. And so y'all, y'all finna get the rest of these fragrances, okay? So it is coming. So right now we are gonna open up 11 through 14, okay? So, and another thing, let me tell you, if you are new to this channel, if you are new to this channel, if you're new to this fragmas, honey, I am experiencing these fragrances firsthand with you guys. I have not smelled any of them, okay? I have not smelled any of them, and I only own one fragrance from them, and I don't think we've gotten to it yet, but that one I do love. So let's go ahead, honey. Let's just go ahead and get this over with, and let's let's get the sniffing, okay? So in box number 11, ooh, look at here, girl. This is box number 11. Okay, so in box number 11, this one right here is called Pure Extreme, okay? Pure Extreme by Mika Lef. So, of course, guys, let me tell you, again, it's the luxury with this. It is the luxury with this. Like I said, these are going to be great giveaway gifts because guess what? Y'all already know what to do, honey. Leave the train down below if you want to enter into the giveaway because I'm just going to pick people at random and you're going to get some of this, okay? You're going to get some of this bougie advent calendar sent to you. And um, yeah, so I'm going to let you know over here on YouTube and then I'm going to need for you to go over there and follow me on Instagram. That way I can reach out, connect you, and get your shipping information. But you will know. You will know if you won the giveaway for some of my bougie advent calendar. Okay, so this one right here by Mika Left is called Pure Extreme. Now, I absolutely, like I said, I love the, um, the, the, the 10 ml bottles that it comes in and their glass. And I absolutely love the itemizer too as well. So again, you're getting luxury. Now you're getting luxury. And again, just like I said, just because I don't like them and my nose is over here tripping with me right about now does not mean that these are not great fragrances, okay? But we are definitely going to experience these fragrances together. So here we go, honey, the train is rolling. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, honey, let's, let's get going because Ooh, child, honey, this train, this Bougieville train is just on, it's just rolling, okay? So here we are. We are going to spray Pure Extreme. Girl, you, okay, you, you, okay, you already know what to do. You already know what to do. Okay, so before I even get into it, I'm not even, I'm going to try my best not to smell this, okay? So in Pure Extreme, guys, it is a musky white floral fragrance. There is rose, there's gardenia, there's jasmine white musk and amber in this fragrance. Now this sounds like it is going to be gorgeous, okay? It sounds from the notes alone, it sounds like this fragrance is going to be gorgeous. So let me see, girl, let me see. Okay, so it's definitely soft. It's almost as if this would be a really pretty bedtime fragrance. This is a bedtime scent because it is so soft and it could be for that white musk. So it's not heavy, okay? It's not heavy. It's not doing the most. It is basically just a pretty musky fragrance, a pretty musky white floral fragrance at that. I do smell the soft rose, but the rose in this is not like a... Um, a mature rose. This is very much so just a soft, a soft everyday rose. There's also gardenia and jasmine in it as well. So honestly, it's a pretty nice fragrance. Okay. Do I want it? No, but it's still a pretty nice fragrance. It's just not, I think for me, it's missing the sweetness. For me, it's missing the vanilla note. It's missing that part right there. If there was a little bit of vanilla in this, girl, then this would probably be, oh, girl, bougie approved. Okay, bougie approved. But for now, okay, in a, put the train down if you want the white musk. Put the, put the train down in the comment box, honey, if you are wanting the pure extreme, okay? Again, musky, white floral fragrance. Absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful, but... 
It's just not giving for me. I need for it to do a little bit more. I need for it to do a little bit more. Girl, I guess choo-choo, moving on to the next one. Okay, so guys, okay, so the train has stopped, honey, and we are now on box number 12. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into box number 12. Okay, box number 12, what are you giving me? What are you giving me? Okay, y'all, this right here, this, oh, honey, my bougie advent calendar is definitely bougie, but come on. I need to find something in here that I absolutely love and cannot live without. I have to. Okay, so in box number 12, we are looking at, come on, come on out of the box. Come out of the box. Okay, Elaine and Gold. Okay, this is something I'm familiar with. This is the fragrance that I have. This is the fragrance that I love. So, okay, guys, so in this fragrance, and I do have my bottle, and, you know, I'm going to show it to you. I'm, I'm going to show it to you, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is Elaine and Gold. This is a sweet vanilla fruity fragrance, guys. There's coconut in its fragrance. There is also peach. There's lychee. There's orange. There's sandalwood rose, vanilla, coconut, and musk. You already know, honey. I absolutely love this one right here. This one, Elaine and Gold. Oh my God. Okay. So if you definitely do want this, you want my favorite, honey, definitely leave that train down below. Definitely leave that train down below because I do have a full size bottle of this and I want to bless one of you guys with it. So definitely leave it down. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what this reminds me of. I'm going to tell you what this one right here reminds me of, okay? This one right here reminds me of that throwback fragrance, honey. Back in the day, girl. Back in the 90s, girl, when we were living our best life, okay? This right here reminds me of a bougier version of Vanilla Feels. I don't know what it is with Elaine, with, with Mika Left fragrances, but some of them are giving me that throwback feel. But this one right here, the Langing Gold, oh my God. Yeah, it's a bougier version of Vanilla Fields. And if you wore that fragrance back in the day, then this is going to be an absolute love for you. And that's probably why I went ahead and splurged and got, oh my God, the, the custom bottle. Yes, girl. I got a custom bottle for Elang and Gold and... Oh my God, I absolutely love this. This one right here, if I have to say at this point in this bougie advent calendar, my number one pick is going to be the Elang in Gold. Girl, let's get this train on Okay, the guys, so here is my bottle that I purchased from Mika Left, and it is absolutely stunning. This is the Elang in Gold, and of course, I got it personalized. Let me tell you, anytime that you have the option to get something personalized, it just makes the fragrance that much more special. But for me, I got, I'm so bougie on it, girl, because I'm bougie, okay? But look at how elegant and classy this bottle is. It is a whole total vibe and they hand put the gold flakes on here and they hand write whatever the um, message or note whether you're putting your name your anniversary date a special date whatever you want to put on it this bottle right here you can tell guys I mean it was made with love okay it was made with love and this fragrance Oh my God, I absolutely love it, guys. And when I tell you, if you were a fan of the Vanilla Fields back in the day, girl, this is the bougier, much richer version of that fragrance because it is absolutely gorgeous. And the more, oh my God, it's just something with that vanilla and that coconut in the dry down that is, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for one of you guys to get this one right here. You are going to absolutely love it, especially if you are a vanilla coconut lover. You are going to love Elang in Gold. Again, guys, like I said, in this fragrance, it is a sweet vanilla coconut fragrance. It has some fruity notes in it. There's peach, lychee, orange blossom, I believe, or some type of orange. There's also sandalwood, rose, vanilla, of course, and that coconut. You are going to absolutely love this. If you are a vanilla and coconut lover, this right here, oh my God, this is bougie approved. 
Okay, boo. So it looks like Elaine and Gold got the train back on its tracks, honey. We are headed. Okay, Boucherville is strong right about now. So now we are going to go to lucky number 13. We are going to open up lucky number 13. And girl, you better be good to us because after coming after Elaine and Gold, girl, you're going to have to bring it. Everything outside of past number 12, you're going to have to bring it because that is my beloved Elaine and Gold. Okay, so here we are, number 13. Let's open it up and let's see what it's giving. Okay, let's see what it's giving. Okay, so this is called Royal Musk. Okay, and in this, it is a musky, woody fragrance, guys, and it says that it is sweet. So the notes in it is peach, uh, the Turkish rose, raspberry, and musk. So I'm really excited to see what this smells like because I do love a good musk fragrance. So, but it just has to be done right for me, okay? It has to be a sweet musk, I guess. It has to have some type of sweetness with it. So here we are with the Royal Musca. Okay, here we go. We are getting ready to spray. Let's see what it's going to do. Honey, you are following behind Elang and Go, girl. You are following behind the bougie girl herself, okay? So you better bring something nice. You better be good, okay? So here we are. We are spraying. I told you guys, we are we are. You still have nothing came out because we, I'm giving it to you as, as raw as it comes. Okay. So here we are. Ooh. Okay. Love the itemizer. The itemizer is absolutely amazing. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. The musk. Okay. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, so let me see, let me see, let me see. Woody sweet, peach, Turkish rose, raspberry, musk. Am I getting a sweet, fruity, musky? This one is good. This one is good. I don't know if I love it, but it's good. It's, it's good. I told you, my fragrance collection we only add fragrances that we absolutely love and that we cannot live without. If I'm on the fence about a fragrance, it don't go in, okay? Let me tell you, I have played the funky two-step with the fragrance for like four years, okay? Two years with Clive Christian, okay? I'm just saying. So in order for it to make it into my fragrance collection, it definitely does have to be a love. I have to fall in love with that fragrance. And that's why it takes me so long. So I'm honestly not even surprised that... Um, going through this advent calendar and smelling up to 13 fragrances right about now that I'm only willing to entertain two or three at this point. You know, one I already own and the other two, well, they're just out there, honey. We're going to see if the Boucherville train rolls through and picks them up. Okay. I'm just saying, but I'm all about, I love it first sniff and I love it first spray and everything about that fragrance has to say, girl, take me home with you. Okay. So does this fragrance, the Royal Must Say Girl Take Me Home With You? It doesn't for me right now. I'm on the fence about it because it's really good. I'm gonna let the dry down, girl. I'm gonna let the dry down, see what it does, okay? So let's see, honey. Train back on the tracks. Train back on the tracks. Okay, boo. So we are on number 14, okay? We are on number 14 and let's just see what it's going to do. Okay, so number 14, what type of fragrance is this? What is the name? <gasps> Note Vanille. Oh, y'all know I'm a vanilla lover. You know that I am a vanilla lover. So what is this going to give? What is this going to give? If you have any of the Amica Left fragrances, leave it down in the comment box below and tell me what are your favorites. I really do want to know what are you wearing from this fragrance house because it is so fun and so interesting to see when we fall in love with fragrances and what might be for me is not for you and what's for you is not for me. Like I absolutely love that about fragrances because they are so subjective, okay? So in the note of vanilla, we have vanilla. So it's saying it is a vanilla woody scent. So it's warm and spicy. So I'm wondering if this is gonna lean masculine, okay? So there is mandarin orange, there's jasmine, there's vanilla, rum, and cognac. So this right here is going to be a spicy, 
boozy fragrance. Now, I don't know if this is going to be for me because I do not like boozy rum note of fragrances. I don't like boozy fragrances like that. I don't like for fragrances to smell like dark liquor. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that's just me. It's just not my vibe. I, I don't like them to smell like that. So let's see if this is going to smell like a smoky nightclub. Okay. <laughs> So here we are, Note Vanille. Oh God, guys, I got to spray this on my skin, please, please, please. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what it's giving, darling. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is what this one is reminding me of. This is actually kind of reminding me of Kayali's Invite Only. It's putting me in that family. This one is good. Okay, okay, okay. I know I said I don't like dark liquor. I know I said, is this gonna give me um, <laughs> Smoky Nightclub? <laughs> but it's actually good. Now I will say this, I think it's gonna be a little bit too masculine for me. So I'm probably gonna pass this one on over. Um, it, it, it might go next door to my husband. I don't know. No, I think I'm gonna give it to one of you guys. Leave it down, leave it down. You already know what to do. You already know what to do because the scammers are scamming. You already know what to do. But guys, the note vanilla is really good. It's going to be perfect for this season. Oh my God, I can see you with your boots on, girl. I can see you with your oversized sweater. I can see you sitting in front of the fireplace having a mocktail cocktail, girl, because there is some rum, okay? There is some rum and cognac in this fragrance. It is definitely warm. It is definitely, oh my God, it does smell good. It does smell good. Now, I will tell you, oh. If I have to say something right about now, because I'm going to have to go back through and give you guys my top five and where they rank and, and what's going on with them, I would have to say that this one would possibly be in my top five. It's really good. And the more and more it dries down, girl, okay, yeah, I'm going to give it away. I'm going to give it away. I'm not even going to do y'all like that because I want y'all to smell this. This is good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, so note Vanel, you, okay, do I dare say it? Do I dare say it? Okay, note Vanel, you are bougie approved. You are bougie approved. I do love the fragrance. Do I love it enough to add it into my collection? I think I would. I think I would. I absolutely love it, okay? Oh my God, because I can see myself pairing it with my beloved Vanilla 28. I can see myself pairing it with my um, my brown sugar babe. Oh my God, the creme de la creme body oil. I, oh my God, I can totally see. Okay, nope, Vanilla, you're good. You're good. It definitely does not lean masculine. The more and more that I'm smelling it as the dry down happens, it definitely is not masculine. It is definitely sexy. And I feel like it is a true unisex fragrance. And when I say true unisex fragrance, I mean that it doesn't lean one way or the other. Now, you know, again, you can wear whatever you want because your nose is going to say, girl, this smells good on you. Or boo, this smells good on you. Or boy, this smells bomb on you. Okay. But for me, Fragrances do lean feminine and fragrances do lean masculine and I tend to stay away from anything that smells masculine. I am all for the girly girl vibes, okay? I'm just saying. But this right here, the No Vanilla, it is sexy. It is sexy and it is sexy in a good way. Absolutely love it and it is bougie approved. Okay, guys, so that is it. We will definitely be back. I will drop my video tomorrow because now I'm kind of getting excited. Guys, we just have a few more days. I want to say, how many more days do we have? So we have like two more days. And then on December the 24th, I am going to do a big reveal of the fragrance that is the full size bottle that's in the advent calendar. And I'm going to also give you my top five picks from my Mika Left Bougie 
advent calendar. So guys, you definitely do want to come back. Thank you so much for uh, participating in our secret giveaway. <laughs> Don't forget to leave the trains. Leave the trains, girl. Choo-choo. Leave the trains. But guys, oh my God, I am so excited about today. So... And today, girl, we got, we got, what? We got two. We got two out of the four. So, oh my God. But guys, absolutely love by Elang and Gold. So bougie. Check out their website. I left the link down below in the comment box. Check it out. See if it's not too late for you guys to get a personalized bottle of the Elang and Gold. Like I said, if you are a vanilla Oh my God, and coconut lover, you're gonna absolutely love it. But guys, that is it, that is it. And I can't wait to see, hop aboard this Bougieville train tomorrow, girl, cause we are coming back through. We coming back through, girl. It's my Bougie Advent calendar, girl. Smooches.